Right, the last of the finals, the seventh race from Newcastle is a two mile final. Obviously, uh, three L's and up, 0 to 100. One is a Phonic Bell, Graham Clatterbuck, Star Daddy, Alex Cherry, uh, Canterbury, John Morgan, High Rise, Craig Beckwith, Zephy, Patrick Hogan, and Mini Fortune Heat, Darren French. Those are the six horses in the two mile final. They're at the start. And away they go. Away well on the outside is Zephy, also Millie Fortune Heat, the grey horse for Darren French away well, but it's Zephy who goes to the front and out wide uh, Canterbury now has been pushed up to take it up. So Canterbury goes to the lead for John Morgan from Zephy in second. Mini Fortune Heat on the rail, the grey horse. Uh, just at the inside of that is uh, Zephonic Bell uh, and then comes uh, Mini Fortune Heat and Zephyr both drop back the field after being leaders early on as Bush Canterbury takes them along from Star Daddy. On the inside there is High Rise with Craig Beck with the one the previous race. Mini Fortune Heat and that one's inside and on the rail we have Zephonic Bell for Graham Clutterbuck with Zephyr at the back of the field. So Canterbury three lengths clear of Zephonic Bell in second is about four in the line. The grey horse on the outside of Zephonic Bell is Mini Fortune Heat. On the outside of that the blue colours of High Rise, the, the orange Steve orange cap, that's Star Daddy for Alex Cherry and Zephy now at the back of the field off to jump in well for Patrick Hogan. There's only about six lengths off this leader, Canterbury. Um, he's five lengths clear now of Zephonic Bell as he tries to extend from the front. Then comes Mini Fortune Heat who's on the inside of High Rise. On the outside that is uh, Star Daddy and at the back of the field we have Zephy for Patrick Hogan. So Canterbury, six lengths clear of Zephonic Bell in second. Mini Fortune Heat on the inside of Star Daddy. In between horses is High Rise for Craig Beckwith and at the back of the field Patrick Hogan, Zephy. So Canterbury, six lengths clear of Zephonic Bell, travelling well in second. Push along for a strider to his high rise. Mini Fortune Heat just has the rails, the grey horse. Zephy just passing that now for Patrick Hogan and on that push along on the outside Star Deli for Alex Cherry. So Canterbury. Still the sixth length advantage over Zephonic Bell in second. Zephy has now moved up into second to dispute that. On the outside is High Rise for Craig Beckwith. Then Star Daddy back on the bridle for Alex Cherry and Mini Fortune Heat, the grey horse at the back of the field. Still a long way to go, yeah. As Canterbury pushed along for a stride or two in front to try to try and maintain the big advantage. Zephy travels well in second. A star daddy creeping closer for Alex Cherry, then three in a line behind that. In the middle of the three is Mini Fortune Heat, the grey horse. On the rail is a phonic bell for Graham Clutterbuck, and out wide is High Rise for Craig Beckwith. So it's the black colours. The white cap, that's John Morgan's Canterbury. Not so far clear now, only about four lengths clear of Zephy who's trying to close with Star Daddy on his outside. Mini Fortune Heat just behind that. Now as a phonic bell tries to make an early move up the outside, also High Rise is following that one. Canterbury now only two lengths clear of Zephy in second. Then Mini Fortune Heat with Zephonic Bell running on. Star Daddy and High Rise also trying to get going. Canterbury in front, but here comes Zephy on his outside and Zephy comes to pick up Canterbury and it's Patrick Hogan Zephy, the Irish Raider goes to the front. Zephy from, from Canterbury, then Mini Fortune Heat and Zephonic Bell. Zephy with two phones left to travel. He's travelling strongly in front from Canterbury. Looks a beaten horse. Then comes Mini Fortune Heat. Uh, Zephonic Bell is plugging on and might be the biggest danger to the leader. Zephy at Zephy still in front. Zephonic Bell is finishing strongly though. Zephy in front. Here comes Zephonic Bell. Still got about three lengths to make up. Zephy with half a phone to go. It's not for catching though. And Zephy's going to win this from Zephonic Bell who's absolutely flying at the end. Zephy stopped right in. Zephy is beaten by Zephonic Bell. Well, that was a bit of drama. The jockey just stopped right in. Zephy thought he had it in the bag. And Zephonic Bell picks him up close home. That was a poor ride on Zephy. Zephonic Bell wins it for Graham Clutterbuck. He benefited from the poor ride on Zephy. Canterbury was served for John Morgan. Mini Fortune Heat fourth for Darren French. High Rise fifth for Craig Beckford. And started out. He finished last for Alex Cherry. Another winner for Graham Clutterbuck, though with uh, Zephonic Bell.